Yongbokgung Palace was the first and largest of the royal palaces built during the Joseon dynasty. It served as the residence of the Joseon kings and seat of the government. At its peak, the palace consisted of 330 buildings and had up to 3,000 staff, all serving the royal family. As you arrive at the palace, you may just feel like you have stepped back in time as you see guards in Joseon era uniforms perform a changing of the guard ceremony. So now let's have a look inside the historical Yongbokgung Palace in Seoul. Yongbokgung was the main royal palace of the Joseon dynasty. Built in 1395, it is located in northern Seoul with Mount Bukaksan as a backdrop. Surrounded by four mountains, the location was chosen based on the advice of Feng Shui scholars as it had the condition of lucky place. King Taeyo, the first king and the founder of Joseon dynasty, in 1392, decided to move government to Hanyang, current Seoul, and started construction of Yongbokgung Palace in 1394. The name Yongbokgung was based on word borrowed from Confucian scriptures, which means Palace of Shining Blessings.
blessed and prosperous to dragons on the ceiling. Rule the world. Kenjongjan is the main throne hall of Hyeongbokgung. The name means that all affairs will be properly managed if your majesty demonstrates diligence. The king's affairs of state, including meetings, receptions with foreign envoys, and most importantly, the coronation ceremony, were all conducted here. Located on a peaceful pond, Hyeongwelu Pavilion treats visitors with some of the most beautiful views at Hyeongbokgung Palace. The pavilion was once used for entertainment when important foreign visitors visited the palace. The name Hyeongwelu is a reference to the king and how he can succeed and be a great leader when he is surrounded by the right people. Thank you. 